You ready? I just gotta get my trig subbed. Wait a minute. This is for a pre-calc class and we're talking about how to do the trigon algebra. What? The algebra with the trigonometric, trigonometric, trig 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 come on, let's go. Whoa. They want us to make the appropriate substitution, so put me in, coach. I'm ready to play <laughs> today. They want us to have our x to be that, so we're going to let our x be that. And that's that 4 secant theta. And then we're going to square the dang thing, and then we're going to subtract off that 16. Then we're going to subtract off that 16. Sick! Now, when I square that secant, that's going to be the square root of 8, 4, 8, 16. Secant. Well, that's a elongated s. <laughs> yes. Theta. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to subtract out that 16. Mean. Now what? Factor out that 16. All right. So I pull out that 16. And I have the secant. Wait. That should be a square right there. A theta minus 1. Fun. And then what? I still have that under the root. Root, root. But wait. There's more. I'm going to explore these trigonometric identities that I'm using. What am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the secant. So I got the sine squared plus the cosine squared is one. That's the only one you ever remember. I'm going after the secant. The secant is one over the cosine. So I'm gonna divide everything by cosine squared. Divide everything by cosine squared. Divide everything by cosine squared. I'm showing you how you can quickly remember. Uh-uh. I'm showing you how you can not remember. By doing a sine over the cosine is the tangent squared theta plus one. That's going to be the secant squared theta. But what do we have? We subtract off that one, and we have that the tangent squared theta. That's going to be the secant squared theta minus one. Fun. Wait, 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 wait. Right here, the secant squared minus one. That's apparently the tangent squared theta. And then I'm still going to have that 16 and that root, root, root. So then the root of that, that's going to be plus and minus. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of the tangent is the tangent of theta. Oh, boy. <laughs> Box and flower. Now, your book might be taking the principle and just calling it positive because they like to keep things positive. I'm going to keep things positive down here. Ooh, make that substitution. Go ahead. Put me in. Coach, I'm ready to play <laughs> today. That's a, a five times the tangent of theta. And then we're going to square all that, square it, and we're going to add 25 to it. Finish him. Yeah, that's the square root of 25 times the tangent squared theta plus 25. Now why? So I don't subtract, I factor out. And then I have that tangent squared theta plus one, fun. And then that's all over that root, root, root. But what do we have? Oh, look, it's, 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 it's right here. The tangent squared theta plus one, that's gonna be the secant, where the secant? So now I'm down here, oh, can you see me? Yeah, you can. So then that's 25 times the secant squared theta. And what's that turn out to be? Mm, five times the secant of theta. Very nice, plus and minus, but your book probably takes the plus. And a flower. Take it to the middle. Ooh, I'm going to substitute that in everywhere I see an x. So what's next? That's um, 2 times the cosecant of theta. And then that's all divided by the square root of, now you've seen that trick, the 2 squared is a 4, CSC theta squared, and then I still subtract off that 4, sure. I stepped a skip in there, now what? I want to see what that is. So I have a 2 times the cosecant theta divided by the square root of 4 times CSC squared theta minus 1. Now, I know your trick is weak. Seriously. But what can you do? You can be all like sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one because that's the only one that you ever remembered. Come on in here. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the cosecant. The cosecant is over the sine. So that's uh-huh and then uh-huh and then uh-huh. So that's one plus, whoa, cosine over sine, that's cotangent, that's tangent, cotangent squared, that's equal to CSC squared theta. Uh-huh. But wait, I want cosecant squared minus one, so 
the cotangent squared theta is equal to the cosecant squared theta minus one fun. There it is. There it is. Whoop. Where's all your whoop? Well, there it is. That's two times CSC theta divided by the square root of four times, what is it? It's the cotangent squared theta. So then what? Finish him. So then I go, and that's uh, two times the cosecant theta divided by two. Remember there should be a plus and minus on the other, but your book probably only chooses the plus. All right, so then that's the cotangent squared theta. The deuce is, oh, oh, you reduce by a deuce, and then you deduce that you can go, and you can change all of those into trigonometric. I'm dropping the plus and minus just because your book probably does. So then that's one over the sine theta, because that's the cosecant. And then that's divided by, the cotangent is, Cosine theta divided by sine theta divided by a fraction the same as multiplying by the reciprocal and then I reciprocate and then I get back to that problem and then I get one over the sine of theta times the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta and that's why you hit those freaking trig proofs so freaking hard because what do I have? I have one over the cosine which happens to be the wait a second. Is that even right? <laughs> of course. Much and flower. Oh, what happened? Oh, what is that? Oh, boy! It could be Mickey.